Hello folks, this is Audiotron 1003 and today I'm doing a review of the uh, Lego set 40290, the 60th anniversary box set of the four classic themes that Lego have produced over the last 60 years. Uh, this is a set I got free a couple of days ago with my uh, mini haul and I decided I would open up and build this set to show uh, to show you what's inside so this is a picture of the mini builds on the front you have a picture of them as they are plus the uh, uh, tile set on a 2x4 red brick uh, the back shows you photographs of the classic sets the monorail uh, the ship the pirate ship the classic 70s castle and uh and the one that i can relate to most of all uh set number uh what is it uh 928 from 1979 the um the spaceship with a small command center now i had that set as a child the others i didn't my brother had these two sets and no one in our family had this set, so I uh, I don't think we've ever had any trains or monorails in the family ever, so I can't really relate to this set, but still, it's there to represent one of the classic sets. And there's a, a kid from the day actually uh, playing with that set. There's a pirate, and the classic logo with the colour bar. So... So uh, this is the box. It's a very large box for such a small set. I don't know why they need to make these boxes so big, but uh, still, that's marketing for you. So if I put that to one side, you get one instruction manual, and this is how thick it is. It's not a very big manual, but uh, it's just one, and um, everything is built on little plates and uh, base plates so how this works is it's a bit like the uh, Lego architecture sets everything is built on individual um, bases bordered with black tiles like so the only difference is they haven't bothered printing anything to to explain what the set was. It would have been nice to have a printed tile stating the set number and what it was since these are more for show than for play. So since I picked this set up I shall uh, start with the first one. This is the um, spaceship that I had as a child with the command center radar dish. So if I take the uh, spaceship off there you go that's what it looks like. Quite small and cute. The rest of it represents the uh, the base plates that came with the set, the landing base plate, and this represents the moon craters and the raised areas. Okay, so that's that one this one this is the castle my younger brother had this set you've got the drawbridge you have the portcullis the tower ramparts buttresses at the bottom and if you take these two by three plates off so I put that down and show you you can actually open it up just like the uh, full size version although with this being a micro build there's not too much to see so there you go next one is the ship now I like the ship but what I don't like is the fact that it rotates the uh, the whole masts rotate on these uh, plates with pins so what I'm going to do is get some cello tape and actually 
stiffen that up a bit to make them more more of a friction pin so that they don't rotate so there's nothing I can do about that it's a bit of a design flaw but if I hold it like this gravity will stop them from moving around you've got the the flags on the top you've got the sails you've got the uh, the cabins at the back and some blue tiles to represent water and I suspect the uh, red uh, small plates with clips represent the cannons so that's the uh, ship the pirate ship the final mini build is this monorail now I didn't quite understand what this was supposed to be until I looked at the box but apparently the white part that's the uh, steps up to the top this is the platform and that's the train itself on the top there so that's the uh, the monorail now I can't really relate to this because I never had this set so I don't quite understand um, the, the mini build itself but I do get what they tried to achieve with the elements that they used and finally in all of these sets including this one and the uh, the smaller classic sets you get a tile and uh, it says basically 60 so it's a 60th year anniversary set it's based on a uh, a red 2x4 brick and mounted nicely on a rocker plate and brick which is quite nice so it's just a small sort of review overview of what these uh, sets contain each uh, mini build comes in its own separate numbered bag um, now I couldn't show you that because I built them last night so hopefully this will give you some idea of what you're getting in the United Kingdom you have to spend a hundred pound in the United States it's worth $125 so uh, I've ordered two more small um, orders to see if I can get two more of these sets one of which I will give away as a present to someone I know and the other one um, I might keep sealed so uh, I'll have to see how I feel anyway thank you for watching Bye.